what is up youtube we are back so we are in the process of catching up with washa reese who should be right up here and we will continue this quest trying to get back to where we were I see a blinking question mark i don't remember what that was but we'll go ahead and just talk to reese real quick hey you gave it a try at least Ugh, that Grace O'Malley's a pirate to the bone. Doesn't care about anyone but herself. Looking at the corrupt and massing here, however, neither her nor anyone else will be safe if this keeps up. <sighs> the storm is centered right above these caves, no doubt about it. And I suspect some foul magic is afoot in there. Place reeks of charred bones and unbridled brutality. Well, that sounds amazing. Uh, are you ready to go in? I don't know. If we both fall in there, there'll be no one to get word to town. I certainly don't trust that pirate to do so. I say we head back to town and recruit as many sword arms as we can, and then come back. Yeah, just go ahead and say you're scared. Uh, I'll go in there alone, though. <sighs> Damn it! I'd forbid it. But I fear you're right. Their numbers are growing too fast. Go then, but be quick about it. Look for the source of the storm and destroy it. I'll meet you back at the watchtower. God speed, my friend. Right, let's enter this hideaway and see what we have in here. And they shall witness the power manifest. The true future of the human race. Right, let's search for the source of the corruption. We'll be at the top somewhere. Like, let's we'll let that guy fight that. We'll go ahead and fight these guys. Oh, cool. Looks like we can easily fight these guys. I kind of like using the rapier because it, it's a lot faster. Maybe the, I don't know. The the axe seemed. It was the hammer I was using. The hammer was fun, but I feel like I like the more nimble characters. Do we all get to... I guess we all get to join in this? Okay. I guess let me probably pick up what the... What they dropped. And then we'll head on back to Monarch's Bluff's Watchtower. So I'll be right back whenever we get there. You steal that which is mine. You assault my followers. And now you disrupt my plans. This is personal. This is personal. All right, Dion. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Watcher Reese. And then I think we are heading to town after this. So let's go ahead and see what he has to do. Looks like he's pretty, pretty busy right now. Oh, God's teeth. When I saw the storm receding, I knew you had triumphed. What was in there? Some kind of abomination? A corruption rift? Oh, I've heard legends of such things from way back. Yeah, it, it was some kind of ritual. And you disrupted it. That's a story fit for legend right there, I'd say. Oh, you have no idea what a relief. Those who've been here longer, the ones who haven't been driven mad by all the years, they tell horror stories about the corrupted. It seems that centuries ago, some dark sorcerer nearly corrupted everyone on the island. Do you think it's happening again? I suspect we'll see more corrupted in the future. But let's hope we can prevent such darkness as the legends speak of. Still, I'll write a report for the town. Tell them the storm's receded, but to remain vigilant. Can I deliver the report? Uh, I hate to ask you to be the bearer of bad tidings, but I should stay here. Just deliver the report to the guard at the gate. Then get yourself a nice cup of mead at the tavern. You deserve it. All right, so I am going to head to the town of Pridewind, and I will be right back whenever we get there. Come closer. It is time you know the whole truth. All 
Well, I guess we're going to look at this ancient statue real quick. So much for pride win. This island has always guarded the promise of paradise. Humanity cast out, deemed unworthy of such blessings. But I did not come here seeking paradise. I came for answers. Redemption after a life of weakness and suffering. And I found a truth that disproved everything I had been taught. I tasted the knowledge forbidden to us at creation, and I saw the vision of humanity's true potential. I knew then, I must correct this ancient injustice and restore the power which is rightfully ours. The heart of the mountain now beats strong with this purpose. After a century of preparation, our campaign has begun. The island's townships already fall before the might of our armies. The only thing I had not foreseen is you. You, who have stolen the gift meant for me. And now your soul will pay the price. For I will not stop until I have seized back the destiny stolen from us and brought true freedom to the world, both old and new. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Um, I guess she can have fun with that, but we're going to go ahead and get to Pride Win. All right, we are back and we are at pride win so let's go ahead and talk to pain real quick welcome to pride win founded during the reign of the high king a legacy honored to this day <laughs> ah a report from watcher reese thank you hmm. Hmm. so it was foul corruption behind the storm very well i will dispatch a knight straight away Ooh. In his report, Watcherese acknowledges your heroism. In which case, you belong here. Pridewin has a strong tradition of heroes. Of course, we always welcome guests. And you've arrived at a most fortuitous occasion. Well, what's so fortuitous about this? Why, we have just learned the true heir to the throne is returning to the region. This is a day we have been awaiting for centuries, and a sign of new hope even during these troublesome times. Where has the heir been? Oh, I could recount the legends for days, but I must dispatch someone to the shore now. The night regent is indisposed, but uh, Minister Lochnir runs day-to-day -day affairs in Pridewin. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Lochnir. Well now, two new faces to Pridewin in one day. Many a year since I've seen that. But these are special times. After centuries, the true heir returns, and the royal bloodline will once again sit upon the throne. Who is the true heir? Forgive me. I take it for granted all are aware. The heir is Sir Gawain himself, most gallant of the High King's knights. You will have the honor to see his homecoming and the return of Pridewin's glory after many dark years. Oh, well, that's good. Across the centuries, I've watched the light fade from Monarch's bluffs in the absence of a true ruler. Of course, the Night Regent has done all she can with my wise counsel. And now, our patience will soon be rewarded. Well, good for you for helping her out. Uh, when does Sir Gawain arrive? Only a matter of days. I'm personally attending to preparations even now, as is my duty. Tradition is everything, wouldn't you say? One such custom I've established is that we offer our guests a complimentary room at the inn. Oh, that's a, that's a really, really good custom. I uh, I really appreciate that. You'll find the inn quite hospitable. 
I hand-selected the innkeep a few decades ago, so by all means, check in and have a warm meal by the fire. I must attend to other matters now, but we will speak again. Sure thing, Lochnir. Go ahead and check out the inn. That is a chair we were running into. The inn should be right around here. Oh. Corruption will claim them all. Warning them is a futile effort. They are blind to the real danger all around them. Okay. Well, we will keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and speak with the innkeeper real quick. Welcome to the Regent's Rise. Sleep here and wake up feeling like a king. <laughs> you here to check in? Be my guest. Ooh, literally. <laughs> I can never remember who his voice sounds like. Man, there's always it's it's somebody. There, there's somebody, and I, I just I can't think of it. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Grace. See what she has to say. Now there's a familiar face. About time you caught up. Here we find ourselves in a little village pulled straight from the Middle Ages. Is it me, or does nothing on this island make any sense at all? Yeah, Grace, I'm looking at one of the things that doesn't really make sense, and I have a, a lot of questions right now. No doubt. For a place where everyone gets eternal life, you'd think it'd be more calm, dull even. Not saying I'd like that, mind you. One thing that is the same, though, is cold, hard coin. You have it or you don't. Makes all the difference. That's a true statement, Grace. We're both a little light in the pocket, but I did sell that loot we collected. So there's your share. Never let it be said, Grace O'Malley doesn't pay her debts. All right. You know, I, I, I can't argue with that. So what do we do now? Well, you got that coin I just gave you, so I'd suggest you get to spending it. Buy yourself a new blade, some new boots, whatever suits your fancy. Is there a shop around here? Ah, yeah. There's a trading post out there. Livelier market than I would have expected. You should check out the trading post yourself, and if you need to stash anything, there's a storage shed too. Go on, I'll be here. All right, let's go ahead, and we will head to the trading post and storage shed. Check out our storage shed real quick. Okay. And we will hop into this trading post. All right. I remember when I first started playing this game, I, uh... The world I was on, its trading post where I started did not look like this. And I, I was not aware of how much was involved in going into like running these towns and upgrading them. And I kind of wish I would have been able to do more with that. But let's go ahead and talk to Grace. Look at you! Here just a few hours and you're already the most popular person in town. You had a caller while you were out. That overly chipper knight from the town gate dropped by. Says he wants to have a word with you. That and Sir Payne and Minister Lochnir talk this place up like it's got a grand history and a bright future. But I'm not buying it. Word in the tavern is that Pride Wind's overrun with people fleeing from trouble at the outlying farms. What kind of trouble? Sounds like some kind of plague. People turning on their friends and neighbours with cold murder in their eyes. Unlike those red-eyed bastards on the beach, these folks aren't possessed. Seems like they don't have any souls at all. Interesting. The Watcher called them the Lost. I didn't trust all the shite coming out of that Watcher's mouth. But maybe there was some truth to it. Ask Sir Payne about these soulless lost outside town. Maybe get a more honest idea of what's happening here. Sure thing, Grace. Ah, excellent to see you again. Ah, oh, perhaps Miss O'Malley can be trusted after all. <laughs> As to you, however, the Watcher's report guarantees it. In fact, the Knight Regent would like to discuss a rather hmm, delicate situation, if you're willing. Does this happen to be about the Lost? Oh, so you have heard the unfortunate news from outlying areas. I'm sorry to hear that. We try not to worry newcomers with such things, but we've even had some Knights who failed to report in. Sounds pretty serious. Yes. Well, uh, I hope. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I have the utmost confidence this will be cleared up before the air arrives. <laughs> I think the Night Regent simply wants to take precautions. 
Uh, please speak with her when you can. Sure thing. So, let's go ahead and I was right. I believe she's up here. Right? Yeah, I think she's all the way over here. So let's go ahead and get to her real quick. Hello there. Come in and be welcome. I will never forget the way this island tested me when I first arrived. I strive to ensure we are patient with newcomers. And in these times, our customs are even more difficult to observe. I felt very welcomed here. That is good to hear. I believe Sir Payne represents us well, and the spirit of everything Pridewen stands for. However, with all the anticipation surrounding Sir Gawain's return, we risk letting our optimism turn into denial. For weeks now, we've heard horror stories from people fleeing the farms, grieving the loved ones that turned on them. Behind their words, I sense a suppressed longing to surrender their own souls to despair. What have you done for them? We offer shelter, comfort, and we dispatched knights to secure the roads. And many never returned. Minister Lochner counsels patience. He believes the royal bloodline will solve all problems. But I feel I must act. What can I do to help? The mines are the backbone of Pride One, where many townspeople earn their livelihoods. I've had no reports in days. I simply ask you visit and confirm with Foreman Alia that all is well. Then report back to me, please. All right, so with that being said, and in our new outfit, if y'all did not notice, uh, that's going to be it for me. And if y'all like this, I would really appreciate it if y'all would like and subscribe. As always, I will see y'all next time.